Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, my name is Sarah and I live in Krakow, Poland with my husband Andy. So Andy hasn't been on my channel in a while and we thought it'd be a lot of fun to sit down and kind of give you guys an update. Not about us per se, but about our pug. So if you don't know, a few months <laughs> a few months ago we actually got a boy pug puppy and we got him when he was nine weeks old and I will put a video up here so you guys can watch that one about when we picked him up. Of course, go watch it after you're done watching this video to see him be so tidy and small. So today I thought it would be a lot of fun to talk to you guys all about Tucker and how much he's grown. So since he's at the six month mark, I thought it'd be kind of fun to tell you about some milestones he's hit, some of his favorite things, kind of how he's grown and like what we've really noticed and appreciated about having a pug. But before we get started, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out new videos every single Wednesday and I would love to have you join because I'm talking all about my life in Poland, Tucker, obviously, <laughs> lifestyle things, traveling, and a lot more. So I would love it if you could stick around. So now let's go ahead and dive into Tucker's six month pug puppy update. Okay, so where do I really begin? That he is already six months old. I feel like the time has just gone like crazy. I don't really know where it went. It's literally heartbreaking that he's getting so big and so grown up. I took her. I know. So I think some of the milestones that we have really noticed with him is, first of all, how tall he grew in such a short period of time. I remember this one time in the summer, maybe July or something, and his legs were literally this big. And I went to bed one night and I woke up and his legs were this big. Literally. Where did it go? I remember being so surprised. And I know that's a bit like of an overstatement, but that's honestly how it felt to me is he just sprouted up overnight and I was completely shocked. So he is about 13 pounds right now. Pugs get to be about 15 to 18 pounds. I mean, some are bigger, some are smaller. It just really kind of depends. There's a huge variety of pug sizes. But I would say, actually, in general, compared to what I've done measurement-wise with him, he's almost full-grown. Yeah, both of his parents were pretty small when we picked them up. So even though he is a boy and he's a pug, um, he's just a smaller mm -hmm. pug just in general. So like he's like very average in terms of he's average height, he average size, average weight, but you know, he's just not, I mean, he's probably on the smaller side of mm -hmm. average, I think. But yeah, he's just not very big compared to some other pugs that we've seen and stuff. I think probably the biggest thing for me that I have noticed with him is how small he is. And granted, he's a puppy, I understand that. But when we compare him to other pugs that we see around, he's just a lot smaller. And I think it's because he isn't obese or he's not overweight because a lot of pugs actually have a very big tendency to become overweight or obese quite quickly and he is obviously not we just go based on the curvature of his body so you can see um kind of like where his ribs are supposed to be and you get a nice indent on the stomach and everyone who sees him always compliments us on what he's eating how good he looks um and just like how fit and trim he really is and I mean, I guess pugs are just not, they're, they're not big dogs in general, but I'm just always surprised when I see him, like how small his frame actually is. So even though he is almost like to the full grown size, he's just smaller. And I personally really like that. Yeah, I agree. He's uh, perfect in every way. I'm not going to lie. So really you, know, you can kind of see, he's pretty... It's pretty long, so mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's standing <laughs> on the table now. He says, "Hello, say hi, Tucker." So like, yeah, he's a uh, he's seat. a very good. Oh, I get some side views. Yeah, he's not fat like at all. You can see his little tummy and everything. So and the rolls are supposed to be there. Pugs are very rolly naturally. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so like on his scruff, you can see like he has some skin, but it's not like there fat. Yeah, so that's how he's supposed to be. When we're talking about sizes with Tucker, I want to show you guys. So we actually had to upgrade his harness situation because I found these harnesses at a pet store here in town right before we got him. And I fell in love because guys, this color is everything. So this is actually the first harness that we picked up for him. This is the exact size that he was when we picked him up. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's really small. 
you can like unbutton it. So like it's really yeah. just such a tiny little harness. And this is exactly what it was almost too big for him when we brought him home. And I was like, oh, maybe I should have got a smaller size. But no, it, it fits him. And it's nice because it's not a super intense harness. It's something that very much just works um, for like going out on about walks, hanging out, that kind of thing. So I thought it was perfect. And the color is gorgeous. And so as he started to get bigger and bigger, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I really love this harness. I love the color. I wonder if I can get it in a bigger size. I did. <laughs> It's this is so big guys look I mean when you fasten it you can see kind of like his legs go through here and this comes up around his chest and I mean you can just see the size difference right, right on the harnesses um, so this one is actually it's a it's definitely loose on him I have it loosened just a little bit but um, it doesn't rub on him it's very comfortable I can fit some fingers underneath it very comfortably um, this 100% will take him through adulthood um, you can see like it's fastened here almost on the smallest setting and it can come all the way over here so I mean this is definitely more than enough for him when it comes to um, what it's going to be like when he is full grown but I just love the color. Like, it's so perfect. And I'm one of those people, I don't want, like, an ugly harness. I want something that's very classy. Uh, I, yeah, no prints, nothing. I want it to be very simple. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I don't think I can link it for you guys. But um, if I can, it's probably only going to be on a Polish site. But, oh, my gosh, I love that. So I just, it's funny to me to look at the size difference. So there is that. And then I also wanted to talk about some of his favorite toys. So when we got him in May, I ordered a big pack of uh, rope toys from Amazon and I didn't know what he would like. So I just got an assortment of toys and out of all of them, this is his favorite one. His carrot, as you can see, he's like, oh, there it is. <laughs> he loves his carrot toys. So this is made out of rope and it is such incredible quality, you guys. Like I was a little nervous getting this from Amazon because the whole thing of toys was like 15 bucks and I wasn't quite sure what the quality would be like. This thing has held up and it has been through the ringer. So I think it's kind of funny that this is his favorite toy because I'm such a health person. I have my degree in nutrition. I worked in the nutrition field for years and... All my friends joke that, of course, this would be his favorite toy, is a carrot. So I just think it's really funny. And you can tell he just absolutely loves this thing. So I think it's it's just a lot of fun. And I think it's a really good toy for him to play with. And then the other one, because as we're filming this, it's October. And it's spooky season. Ultra spooky. <laughs> so we got him a spooky toy. It's and a zombie. <laughs> it, is. it has a little squeaker. I'm not going to squeak it now. But it has a little squeaker. You can always already see he's kind of worn a little hole in it but this has very quickly become his second favorite toy we call it his spooky toy so we tell him tucker come get your spooky toy and he just gets you, you want your spooky toy? Want toy do you like your spooky toy yeah here's your spooky toy so he definitely alternates back and forth between the carrot and the spooky toy but these are kind of like his favorite toys and we've obviously had this since he was a puppy i mean like tiny puppy but it wasn't until just recently that he actually was big enough to chew on this because before his mouth was so tiny that it, he had a hard time like really getting a good grip on the carrot toy. So now that he's a much bigger little man, he can actually grip this thing. In case you're trying to find a pug, you should definitely consider your work-life balance in the sense that they're extremely emotional and they're very needy creatures so like if you get one and expect it to be at home by itself for eight hours nine hours a day don't get a pug because it'll literally get a broken heart mm -hmm. they are bred for compa companionship and they love people and they love their humans and they need to be around humans so like as you can see he's totally chill just sitting in my arms and yeah. he'll sit like this for pretty much as long as you know he wants obviously but we've gone out to dinner and stuff mm -hmm. and sit outside and he sat in my lap for like three hours just totally fine yeah. just like this so but he can be a bit too needy yes to, the, be too needy. to yeah. the point where you actually have to train him that you do not need to be around me all the time so the okay. biggest thing that we've been working on this past month is actually having him sleep on the floor he was a pain to sleep with like for like 
the first few weeks we had him, we were maybe getting two hours of sleep a night. The worst. It was awful. And he just cries because he can't be with us. So we did everything we could possibly think of without having him on our bed. And then we finally caved and he's been sleeping with us for the past few months. And I really want to break that habit because as we start to travel more and we go do more things and he can't come with us, he needs to be able to go to someone's house and sleep on the floor and be okay. Because I don't want to have to ask someone to have him sleep on their bed. If like, I, he just needs to sleep on the floor. He's a dog. So um, we've been sleep training for the past few weeks and he's doing better than expected. He is definitely still not perfect. Last night he cried for so long that we just had to cave. Um, but like, you know, usually what, like three or four nights out of the week, he actually does sleep on his own for quite a bit. And that's really nice. So we are slowly working toward that, um, but it is still a process. And I think probably the other thing is potty training is still, we're still working on that. She's, I would say maybe what, 70%? Yeah, probably. He is a lot better about holding himself or holding everything for, you know, three or four hours and then holding it usually all night long. Um, so we just take him downstairs a few times throughout the day, you know, morning, noon, night, um, maybe one other time here and there. But for the most part, uh, we're, we're just we're working on it. He has a big personality and he is quite stubborn. So that is something that you have to combat. But the good thing about pugs is that they are very food motivated. So mm -hmm. for him, I know, like I know people can just feed pugs so many different things. You know, I've seen, you know, French fries or Doritos or any like snack food kind of thing. And they just give it to their dog. Personally, that's not how we roll. His favorite foods currently are blueberries and pumpkin because seasonal mm -hmm. and strawberries. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he loves strawberries. He goes nuts for any one of those. I mean, he knows a lot of words and blueberry shackles are some of your favorite shackles, aren't they? So that's usually just what we give him is like a tiny little treat here and there just to really reward him for doing good. It's a really great thing to use for potty training. I found that that is actually quite helpful. Um, and it's also been really good because like if we go run errands or something, we just leave him at home and we are training him to just go sit on his bed whenever we are away and we can just do that with snacks and it actually works really well. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think, that's kind of all I have to say about his little update. Tucker, do you have anything that you want to tell the people? You have anything to say to the anything? camera? Anything? No? Other than that he's just no? so okay. sweet and so cute. Yeah, if you are questioning whether you should get a pug and you have the ability to care for a needy creature, mm -hmm. you definitely should because they're perfect and beautiful and amazing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they're just really great dogs and they're great with kids and families and they're very chill. So mm -hmm. they're just good doggies right Tucker yeah they are quite perfect so if you're interested in seeing more of Tucker I'll actually have a playlist linked down below with some of our favorite videos that we've done with him as well as his Instagram you can go follow him on Instagram which is a shameless plug by the way and it just posts lots of cute pictures of him if you just kind of want to keep up to date with what he's doing and I know he's a dog but he really does feel like family and he's like a part of our daily routine and we just love him so much and I just can't believe it took so long for us to actually get one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of just a brief update about Tucker turning six months old. Of course, we will do many more videos with him, but we just thought it'd be fun to sit down and show you guys how much he's grown since you have been here. And if he's been here since the beginning, I mean, you'll be shocked at how, you know, how much he has grown. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every single Wednesday. And with that said, we will go ahead and see you guys in our next video. And again, don't forget to check out the other videos of Tucker. So we'll see you guys next Bye. time. Thanks for watching. Bye.